Hey Jeremy, this is Sean over at Murex. Thanks for stopping by yesterday. Uh, just going to give you a quick video of this 2020 Spree Escape 211 RBS. A little rear bath with a slide, 3,700 pounds, so something you can pull with your Forerunner. Just something for you to use as a reference point. On the off door side, here's your slide out. It's going to feature your couch that folds down into a little bed with a generous sized galley with storage underneath the sink. Nice stainless steel undermount sink so you can put hot pots and pans in there. You don't have to worry about a plastic sink melting. Good sized storage above. You can see from the side how deep that is. Over a foot deep, so plenty of storage for uh, your plates and bowls. It does feature a nice sized pantry next to the galley as well. So you can get this open up. So you've got plenty of room here uh, for food. Which is always a, a nice thing to have when you go camping is room for food. Again, you can see how deep that is. Across from it, you've got a secondary pantry as well. Next to your fridge freezer. This is a 6.3 cubic foot fridge freezer. It's going to work both off of propane or electricity. So it can work if you are dry camping or if you have full hookup. Either way. You've got your four-person dinette. You've got storage under either side of the dinette, and that's also going to fold down into an extra bed. Technically, this would be uh, a six-person sleeper, two on the bed, two on the couch, two on the dinette as well. Uh, the bed is going to give you a walk-around style bed, so you can get in on either side of the bed with plenty of storage for clothes above and to the side. On this left here, you can see that we've got a shelf with 110 outlets and USB. And if I can get around, it's kind of tough to see. There is a little nook on the other side as well for another phone, uh, eyeglasses, whatever you'd like. It is prepped for a television. If you want to add it to television, though, the swing arm here, it's got a built-in antenna storage above the dinette as well. There's a generous size rear bathroom. I know you said that could potentially be really important to you. So you've got your commode with foot flush, so you don't have to reach down with your hand behind the toilet after you use it and flush it. We just winterized this so the access panel to get to the water lines are up. Sink. Nice tub with a vent up above. Medicine cabinet, so room for your toothpaste, deodorant, those kind of things. And a really good sized wardrobe. Look at that, it goes all the way around with hanging storage up here. You could put some little shelving units in here if you wanted. Uh, or use it for coats um, and you know really anything. Single piece floor. Uh, it's a one piece seamless linoleum floor that goes from the front to the back. It's water resilient, cold crack resist resistant, really nice. Exterior is going to feature fiberglass sidewalls with aluminum framing which is really nice. This is a tandem axle. This is about uh, you know, the heaviest that you would want to go with your Forerunner, uh, but it does give you a tandem axle, so it's going to give you a nice stability for towing. We've got the power awning with LED light, the upgraded aluminum bleacher style steps that do go all the way to the ground. So they're incredibly solid. Does have a gas electric water heater, exterior speakers. It is prepped up here in the front if you wanted to add a solar panel. You can put a solar panel there for a little trick or tr trickle charge on your battery. Single propane tank to help with the tongue weight up here on the front. Four jacks all the way around. Again, power slide system. One of the nice things here with this slide system is it has what's called a triple seal. So you've got a compression bulb seal on the outside, you have a wiper seal behind it, and then there's another wiper seal actually behind this, it's very hard to see on camera, but if you flip this back there's a, a third seal behind there as well. And then you can see up here at the top where the seals and the slide out actually overlap. Some manufacturers actually cut them out there so you don't have that overlap, so just adds one more area for water to get in but not here on this spree escape. See our nice gray color infused fiberglass, aluminum rim tires, all of your water hookups, and it does come with a spare tire, and it is prepped if you wanted to add a backup camera. That's a pretty easy thing to do on these. Again, 3,700 pounds, probably about the biggest size coach we'd want to look at for you, but it is something that could work. So shoot me a call or a text if you have any questions or if you want to see any of the other trailers that we looked at.